Hey there guys, it's Friday the 28th and I'm still pregnant. Um, probably will still be by the time the video goes out on Sunday, but you know, just in case, here I am. I'm just going to be rambling for a while because I don't want to have to edit this and I'm just going to be talking about what's been up, just like a update video, sort of a bump date video. Um, I am 37 weeks and 4 days. Yeah, um, so not much going on or moving. I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks. They're very frequent but irregular and some of them have reached as far as a one on the pain scale. Um, so nothing's like happening yet. Um, I still am hopeful that we will go into labor earlier than later, but you know, we'll see. Um, the good news is I actually turned off all the fans in here because the, the temperature has been a lot more manageable this week. Um, last week was really crazy. You saw in some of my videos, um, the audio was a bit off because I had to do a lot of editing to it to make the fan noises go away because it was pretty hot. Um, today it's only set to max out at like 88, which, you know, some of you might think is ridiculous, but compared to 103 last Tuesday, it's uh it's quite pleasant and if you go outside there's a bit of a breeze so you get sweaty but like i've been doing more walking a little bit more um i i want to try to walk more often because you know i do feel like some cervical pressure you know from from walking around so i feel like it's doing good things moving my body in the right direction um today specifically I've been having a really hard time moving around. I slept so poorly. So for a few days there, I was sleeping like on a bunch of pillows propped up like on my back so that the baby wasn't on like my vena cava. Like they say, you shouldn't sleep on your back when you're pregnant. And normally I sleep on my side. Um, so I was propped up because flipping over in bed is excruciating. Um, sending me grasping in pain yeah labor's coming don't worry I understand that um but from my SPD um specifically the left side of my pubic bone is just sharp pain when I try to roll over and then also just from the extra weight of everything and the way it's dispersed um, I end up getting sort of some numbness on my hip and a little bit of sciatic pain um, from that nerve being compressed there and so I have to flip, you know, I have to wake up, completely rouse myself to flip over to the other side, end up almost falling off the bed because it's hard to scooch because putting any sort of like, I don't know, engaging my core or using my hips at all to like move myself is really painful in my pubic bone. So basically, um, after a couple of days of it being really difficult to move around, like last weekend, um, it was really difficult for me to move, to get up and down, to twist at all. Um, I decided I needed to sleep vertically, like as much as possible. So I propped myself up that way, great. And it worked for a couple days. I was feeling a little bit better. Um, and then I think part of it is I've been just extra tired lately. Like it was, it's not the best for me because I generally prefer, I get better sleep on my side. It hurt less in my crotch but it, I didn't sleep as well so then I was taking extra naps during the day when my daughter was taking a nap instead of doing my exercises so I was exercising less and then not sleeping as well and it was just a cycle and so I think that's part of why it's now hurting more again I decided to just sleep on my side again this morning I'm like I was last Saturday I think where I am just having a really hard time moving around so that's where I am today. Fortunately, my daughter was very sweet and let me nap through the second episode of Daniel Tiger. Um, and then we snuggled on the couch for a little bit and enjoyed a little bit of that time. She's She's been really, really good. This is the end of my second week of maternity leave, being like a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I, I make those air quotes. I mean, I guess because I'm getting <laughs> disability payments, so it doesn't count. I'm staying at home with my daughter um, and it's working out pretty well. Um, I've got a whole bunch of 
supplies up on top of our china cabinet um, and I've organized them into little boxes so you can pull down a bin it's like a sensory bin with the rice and scoops or there's a sensory bin with the water beads and there's one with the kinetic sand um, today she was doing some tempera painting on cardboard so she's been doing a lot of fun activities she's been playing doctor a lot with me possibly because I just look like I don't feel great and I keep telling her my body's hurting um, so I'm really sorry I can't get down on the floor with you. I'm having a hard time. You know, it takes me forever to get up and get you something. Um, but, you know, she's been really good and as much as, you know, she can be understanding. And now it's like the point where when we're talking about her being a big sister, about the baby coming and all of that, she, uh, you know, or I don't know, she probably doesn't notice a difference, but I feel like it's like feeling more real. Now that I'm on maternity leave, it's feeling more like, you're going to be a big sister soon means within the next few weeks. And that's pretty crazy. Um, it's just reminding me that time is running short, but also like there's an out, you know, it's, it's not going to be forever. <laughs> and yeah, it's not like my body's going to snap back to no pain whatsoever because recovery is a B as well. Um, but I am looking forward to things improving <laughs> rather than um, <laughs> what I'm what I'm dealing with right now. Um, oh, this week's weigh in. It was exactly the same as last week's. And I've heard that that's a good sign that your body stops gaining weight. You stop gaining weight. Um, the baby's probably still gaining, but your fluid level goes down a little bit towards the end. So that could mean that delivery is coming sooner. Um, I don't know. There's more discharge, I guess, probably, but I don't know if that's like a mucus plug thing or if it's just woohoo. And also like the weather, everything is just damp everywhere. <laughs> that's not just me though. That's not just pregnancy. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm hopeful. I have, I had an appointment 36 weeks and two days. Um, and they did my group B swab and they checked baby is head down i think i mentioned that in one of my videos so that is great news um they put me on the surgery schedule for a repeat cesarean at 40 plus four and the more i think about it the more i'm like i don't know if that's enough time i really want to give myself at least to 40 weeks 41 weeks um so i think at my next appointment i'm going to talk to them and see if i can get that moved back um or at least discuss like what happens if that date comes and i just don't want to consent to surgery that day. Um, obviously they can't cut me open without me saying okay. So um, yeah, what, what are my options there? But I, like I said, I am hopeful. I feel like things are moving in the right direction that it's not going to be, it's not going to come to that. But my next appointment uh, is this next Tuesday, the first, and I'm going to have to get my group B strep swab again because they lost it. Um, so that hopefully, as long as that result comes in time, um, next week, I'm also planning on starting a couple more extra things. I'm going to start expressing colostrum. I got some syringes to free some colostrum because I may as well do a little bit of nipple stimulation and get things moving that way. I've been taking my dates. I like dates. So that's good. Apparently that helps ripen your cervix. Who knows? They're tasty. They're candy. They're vegetable candy, you know? Um, and there's one other thing, I don't know, just walking probably. And I really want to try to get better about the exercise thing. Um, I, I've enjoyed doing it while my daughter's napping because there was a period of time where she was just giving me a really hard time when I was trying to do it while she was in the room. She would get on all around underneath me. She was like, no, no, don't use the yoga mat. That's my yoga mat. And like pushing me around and climbing on top of me when I was doing all four stuff. That was months ago. So it's possible that it wouldn't be an issue now. I just haven't tried. Um, and it's only five minutes. So I'll probably do that next. <laughs> Once I finish filming here, I'll go do my exercise and then maybe try to get a little bit of extra nap in. Maybe do a caffeine nap. I have some iced coffee. That would be good. Basically, I've just been monitoring the weather. Um, it's currently 85 degrees outside and only planning, planning, forecasted to get up to 87 by the peak today. So uh, we might go for another walk this evening. My daughter 
is super into going on nature walks lately and just collecting every little leaf and a uh, little pine cone and everything she can find and baby rock she says tell me if you see a baby rock um so we'll probably try to do that again because getting some exercise in is good and also sitting on this yoga ball which i it's in the office it lives in the office so that clancy our vacuum cleaner doesn't mess with it um so i'll bring that out and bounce around and try to get some something moving and uh yeah just you know pray that i go into labor before 41 weeks and then hopefully i'll be able to sleep again you know obviously not a lot or for very long but more deeply <laughs> than lately thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thanks for caring it's very sweet of you um i'm going to continue to post these little rambly updates with very little editing um oh my battery's almost dead so perfect timing i'll see you guys in the next video on thursday where i'm going to be just sort of rambling about how my planner's going so I'll see you in that one. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And I love you. Goodbye.